have a turn. Oh, thank you. I know it's been a while. I know you're thinking the same. But I've been feeling like a moment can't go to waste. I let go of your name, girl. You can't really tell on camera, but the big cloud that's starting here. There's a massive storm coming. It's going to be thunder and lightning for the next two days or three days. And we're like 15 or 20 nautical miles behind schedule. So we just thought today we're just going to be at to Taramina. Hey, do you want to say anything to the camera, boy? What do you want to say, buddy? You want to say something to the camera? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know, where's Brittany? Oh, there you go. It's like to do a nice big crew on the grass mat next to Brittany now. The lightning strikes to the sea are getting close. We just looked up Storm Tracker. The uh, lightning's coming out to see where we are. We sped up a little bit. I'm hoping that the way it looks like it's going, it's going to come out to sea and cross through behind us. Uh, we're right at Catania now. Yeah. At one. And when's it supposed to hit Catania? In this place. I never thought we would be back here, eh? But I'm so happy we are. Right now, I think we might anchor and get settled. Oh, you know what? Who knows what we'll do? What do you want to do? Do you go to that Dick Hotel? There's a hotel of Dick's here, Brittany. We should go there. No, it's a restaurant. It's on the highest point of Terramina, and it's covered in dicks. Yeah, she really wants to go. It's looking a bit grisly over Terramina at the moment. There's actually quite a bit of thunder and lightning. So we're just getting ready to head into Terramina for the morning. It looks like this storm is supposed to hit us early afternoon, so we want to go in quickly this morning and have a look around before we'll be stuck on the boat for the rest of the day. Jackson, what are you excited to see? You can see people. We've got a sterny throughout because we learned our lesson from last time we were here that it's rolly here at night. Finn's feeling very left out. That anchor seems to set well. Oh yeah, that's very. It's a fortress anchor in sand, that's what I do there. If only we had a GoPro and we could film underwater. So while we were in Malta, Ryan ordered us a new GoPro and it's been a nightmare. So it got returned to sender. We ordered from the official GoPro website. So you think we'd be safe, but Ryan's been trying to get in touch with GoPro.com or whatever, and he can't get in touch with them. We're currently going through a PayPal dispute, and we're really missing our GoPro. <laughs> He's still on the back, He's back right. car step. His idea was to wear flip flops. Water break. What do we have to last time we did this to Jackson, didn't we? I said last time we were here, I'd never do this again. And now I'm doing it with two big bags of garbage. Come on, Ryan, we first. Oh man, this uh, gentleman here, he let me put the garbage in the bin. Uh, we've lost the others. Oh, Brian! So we thought Brian was. Uh, was being a pansy and couldn't hack it and meanwhile just crawls, scrolls around the corner <gasps> with breath in his shoulders being all like Hercules and stuff. No, he's flexing, he's flexing for the camera, we know it. As soon as he walks past the camera, he's gonna dump the kid over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have to do some Instagramming stuff, whatever. Oh, she's looking over her shoulder, there's a pigeon there. Oh. <laughs> We got a real pretty little street here. It's actually my, it's actually my suggestion. Oh, pretty, let me take a photo of you on the street. It's really pretty. Ching, here's the photo. So up ahead, there's a good place for a, a wicked view. Uh, so you can see the whole bay. It's but like the most popular spot the in most, But this is where we go to check on the dog. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? 
Ryan's gonna put one euro in the telescope tell you what, to check on Jackson. This better work because it's cost me technically cost me a dollar sixty. Uh, I can't even see the bloody say there's Finn. Oh, the handrail is right in the way. Oh, <laughs> you're kidding me. Do you want to get a, do you want to get a dress from f No. Well, that's what it says. <laughs> Ryan, how does it feel to be back in Terramina? You know what, my hip's sore because I've been walking for so long. <laughs> we walked longer last time. Yeah, seven kilometers uphill and seven kilometers to the hill. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It was actually good because last time really sucked walking up here. <gasps> Look at us. Oh, we still got to walk back down. <sighs> We're a bunch of messes. Jackson's drunk two liters of water. We just ran out of water. This was a terrible idea. Oh my god, we made it. Suck it in, Ryan. Hey, what's going on? No, you go. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. Thank you, man. I think my butt's not any bigger. There you go, my love. That's a lot of plastic. What's going on here? Yeah, yeah. This stone is so hot on my butt, it's on fire. Oh, shit, that is hot. It's on fire. So, Brindy, there's a storm coming at 1 o'clock. I know, we gotta get. We gotta We're gonna get moving. moving because it's one o'clock. Cloudy out oh, here. Ryan, look at how smudged the camera lens is. Oh yeah. No, that's better. So we gotta get back because it's one o'clock. There's a storm brewing. Look, the wind's shifted. I can just feel it. All right, so we're gonna try and beat this cloud back to our boat. We got a fair trek to get there. Oh, look at the view back there. The buildings and that. That looks beautiful. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Why the extra? Can I do it? Oh, wrong way. Look at this sexy beast. What's up? I think it was like. Sometimes Ryan will put balls in his mouth. Actually, right, so I got a story to tell you. No. <laughs> Spout out there. Come over here. Finn's trying to attack you. I'm sitting out here in my little nighty. The fishermen are having a heyday. But holy shit. It's starting to pick up and the swell switched. So the swell was coming in from this direction before, which is why we're facing this way, but now. It swung around to here, so we need to readjust our stern anchor. It's cold. Is it? It's cold. So don't jump in? No, jump in, it's beautiful. Oh, you said it's cold. <laughs> I don't want to jump in if it's cold. You just ruined all anything of like me wanting to jump in right now. You just ruined it. I just dove on our stern anchor and we're dragging. <sighs> so we have to reset it. This is perfect where we are right now. Do you want me to tighten it? So we reversed on the chain and the chain was dead tight. Grabbed the anchor, pulled it back, chucked it in there. Dude. I can feel it pulling us. Yeah, it's definitely working hard, that's for sure. Literally, oh, this boat's freaking out, they're coming back. What boat? There's a boat coming back that left before. There's like stuff for that. Oh, we're about to go to the beach again, buddy. I'm sorry. I was gonna try and beat the rain because I could see it. I could see like a big rain 
storm coming through. Fuck, not the water glasses. This is going to get soaked. So let's put that over here. Because you've got the stern anchor out, which I don't think it's going to hold, <laughs> but it's got holding. So with this storm coming through, we should get a bit of wind. Unless you got, you got, I'd put it in the oven, but you're cooking, so I don't want to heat it up. What's in there? There's our laptop, our hard drives, a camera, and our iPad. Lightning is striking all around us. Please put the camera out. And we just put our hard drives, our laptop, iPad, and the microwave. Uh, we're like flooding. What is? You're dead. <laughs> yeah, look, we're dragging. And it looks so cold. Well, quickly, because it's going to start taking our chain out. Our stern anchor just let off, and we were just going to leave it, but now we're doing the full uh, three Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Jesus. I'm alive, aren't I? <laughs> Holy shit. That you know didn't what? sound like what I expected them to sound like. I'm laughing at it right now, but like whoever's watching me would have just seen me run inside like a little bitch. What just happened? I, mean, I was sitting there holding onto the rail, looking at the dinghy, wondering if I should lift the dinghy or not because it's filled with water. And that lightning crack just hit the water right next to us. And I just went went straight through my body. The like, It went ooh, like a big shock and I'm just like... I th actually thought I died. I was like, did we used to hit by lightning? We didn't, but um, my goodness me. Oh, well, no. oh, there we go. That's better. Because that flashed and then the thunder came a few seconds later. That one, there was no thunder. So the storm's passed, I think. But look, there's stuff all in the waters. There's stuff floating all over. Look at the dinghy. It's full. Our bucket filled up with water, which is nice. We'll use that for laundry or something. But look at the water. It was crystal clear. Now it's mud. We've got a stern anchor out because we... it was crystal clear. You can actually see a mud line right there. See? We looked at the lightning strike map online. One of them, the one that freaked Ryan out, hit right over on that street there somewhere. Which is why it was so loud and Ryan actually felt it. Jackson's getting a little excited because we got up this morning here. We just moved from Terramina to Naxos, which is across the way. We fill up these water jugs. We're doing water runs. This is how we get our water, and we're too cheap oh, to pay the marina for water. We've done about, what have we done? A 240th litre now. Should be full. And then today we've gone through Messina Strait, which would be quite interesting. And then we're going to go to the volcanic islands, which meant to be amazing. So we might see a uh, volcano erupt. So we've done our water run now. Finn's going nuts. What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, Finn, mate, you're not allowed on the bench top. How many times do I have to tell you? He doesn't oh. listen. Now you're on the... Goodness me. All right, Ryan's picking up our stern anchor. All right, see you later, Taramina. I may have accidentally just given Brittany a fresh jug of water this morning, but it was one that we filled up with like non-drinkable water. I think Brittany just, hey, did you just drink it or? Sorry, Brittany. We'll give it to Jackson. Yeah, we'll give it to Jackson. Jackson will drink it. There's dolphins just hanging out here in the water. Hey! Jackson! Oh no, come back! Oh, what the hell? Did you just get them jumping on the bow? Guys, come back! Come back! I missed you! This is so frustrating. That was so cool. They just like 
but just cruise around slowly. They did a little jump at the bow. After spending like $200 on internet and Malta, Brittany's stoked now watching movies. We just picked up a SIM card for 200 gigabytes for 100 bucks here in Italy. I but it only- it. $70. Oh, sorry. We just okay, I could just use data without even thinking about it. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Jackson's like, is that the ambulance? What's is that going on? Ambulance? Jackson! Jackson just started barking. <laughs> what a dickhead! Jackson! What a little brat, hey? We need a chair here. <laughs> You're on patrol. Dolphin patrol. Trying to have a little light snack. Jackson's going ballistic. Yeah. I know, mate. <laughs> it's a boring day. Yeah, right, he's been chasing friggin' dolphins. Oh, yeah. I don't, yeah, maybe he's just worn out. We've seen him a few times now and he just goes nuts. Brittany? Now, I must say, we are now entered the Messina Strait. We've got this traffic separation zone to our left. And up ahead, we've got a few ferries that are coming by us. Once you get on the other side of the strait here, we're going to see volcanoes and then we're going to head up and do the Amalfi Coast. I'm so excited. This is epic. This is going to be so cool. Cannot wait to share all this with you. Brittany, the next few weeks are going to be epic. Do you know why? Why? It's my birthday. You know, you got to wake up, man, because you keep me up all night. So you could not be sleeping riding around the boat and I can hear your little footsteps going doo -doo 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 along the roof. So you need to wake your ass up. Good boy. Here we are, baby. We're going through the Strait of Messina. When I was talking about the traffic separation zone, there's the traffic separation zone. There's the, the little blue line there, is we gotta to stick to the outside of that and the coastal traffic. And we just gotta zoom around here, dodge a few whirlpools, a couple of currents, come out around here, and then we're gonna come out and anchor around here somewhere and then we'll continue on to the volcano spots over there do some uh, island hopping around there before we scoot up to the to the Amalfi coast in Italy and don't worry about that yellow line I don't know what happened there but apparently like I went down to the Gulf of Guinea at some point in the last hour I don't know how that happened but I'll tell you what it was a bit scary and it's epic that we've got some current like behind us pushing us along but this boat's pretty good so I've slowed right down to like 1500 revs and we're just plodding along at 6.3, 6.7, 6.4 knots. We've got a three blade folding prop, so I think that helps a lot. So when we're sailing, we're pretty quick and when we're motoring, we're also pretty quick. Oh, there we go, we just hit seven knots. went through the Messina Strait. It's fairly uneventful. So this way we've got the Amalfi Coast, which we're gonna head to in the next couple days. We're gonna head over, see the volcanic islands first before we do it. Ryan's I'm gonna go around this guy, sorry, he's got a diver in the water. Ryan's so trying not to kill the divers. Everyone always seems to make a big deal about going through the Messina Strait, so we must have been pretty lucky. Sunday has ticked off another, I don't know, an alley type strait, strait thing, whatever, transit thing, major shipping thing, whatever you call it, what do you call it? You're doing so well right now. Alright, let's go see some volcanoes. <laughs>